Ele é meio arado. मेरा वीडियो आ रहा हेलो 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 सर मुझे कुछ पता नहीं चल रहा है क्या है मैं केवल मेरा फोटो आ रहा है और किसी का आ ही नहीं रहा है और मैंने 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 दूसरे फोन पे भी देखा है तो उस पर भी कुछ नहीं आ रहा है लाइव तो हो गया है मगर आ नहीं रहा है कुछ भी सी प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज जी 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 मैं अमित सर के साथ नहीं हूँ शिवीर सर है मेरे साथ तो चलिए मैं ये स्टार्ट कर रहा हूँ मैं मैं खुद ही स्टार्ट कर रहा हूँ ठीक है ठीक है ठीक है चलिए ठीक है नहीं आप उनको उनको डिसेबल कर दीजिए अमित सर का मेरे ख्याल से अभी है नहीं लेक्चर ठीक है सर आप उनको डिसेबल कर दीजिए ठीक हाय गुड गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल माई सेल्फ राम शर्मा फ्रॉम माई एम टी कॉलेज ऑफ मैनेजमेंट बी सी डिपार्टमेंट होप यू ऑल एंड योर फैमिली आर वेल इन दिस कोविड सिचुएशन टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू गिव एन ओवर व्यू अबाउट वॉट इज टी प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज it is not uh, fully covered but it is like a crash course only okay so first of all we will discuss about what is c programming language and who built this programming language okay then c programming language is was discovered by dennis ritchie in 1978 and it is also called as mother of all programming languages it is a popular programming language popular computer programming language it has a feature of procedure oriented programming language means if we are coding inside c we have to follow some kind of procedures by the help of these procedures we can use the functionalities of c programming language it is also known as mid level programming language mid level means it can also support high level programming language as well as low level programming language okay now the third one is the c programming language is developed by dennis ritchie in 1972 in at&t bell lab which is located in usa it is basically for the unix operating system unix it is a kind of operating system which is used like as operating system like windows mac operating system this kind of operating system and this c programming language mainly inherit the features of b programming language and bcpl programming language what is bcpl bcpl is basically please stands for basic combined programming language okay now we will talk about the history of programming language c programming language first the programming language comes it is algol in 1960 developed by international group then after bcpl in 
developed by Dennis Ritchie and Martin Richards. Then after B language in nineteen seventies, developed by by Cam Thompson. After traditional C in nineteen seventy two, developed by Dennis Ritchie as well. Also known as C and K R C R language. K R C R means Cunningham and Dennis Ritchie language, which is which is basically the C language developed in nineteen seventy eight by Cunningham and Dennis Ritchie. Dennis Ritchie is the main uh, programmer or main functioning man, and the helping hand is Cunningham, Brain Cunningham. After that, N S C in nineteen eighty nine, developed by N S I committee, and then after many programming languages are developed. After that, if we'll discuss about what are the features of programming language, C programming language. There are many features of C programming language like it is machine independent and portable. Machine independent mean if you run C code in any machine and you fetch the binary file. and install it on other machine then the code will execute and portable you can carry it in any form from one place to other place very easily mid level language we all uh, already discussed about it mid, mid level language means it uh, will easily communicate with high level programming language and low level programming language third one is it supports structured programming language means any language which follow the structured pattern structured pattern means one after other in a sequential manner it support that well in c programming language we have many libraries means like if you are using math functions for that we have math.h if you are your output means stdio.h if you are using console input output for that we have conio.h after that the next feature is memory management is if you are using c language that means we can use our memory means computer memory very effectively next feature is fast speed by the help of c programming language means if you are using if you are coding in c language then we can execute our instruction very fastly in comparison of previous build programming languages okay after that it support pointers pointers is a very good thing in c programming language or we can say that pointers have power to build up or to destroy anything by the help of pointer we can ex is the address and at that particular address what things are holding we can access directly without using any other concept after that the next feature is recursion recursion is if you are calling you are calling a inside a that is known as recursion means the loop continues several times until it fulfill our desire and the last feature of c language is it is extensible extensible means at every moment of time we can expand is as our desire okay after that the first program if we talk about how to write a c program to write a c program first of all we have to include certain things like we have to include certain things like it includes certain libraries like standard input output libraries and console input output output libraries this program has certain functions like main and certain input functions like printf so you all know how to write the program in c hash include stdio.h hash include conio.h like this so first about we will talk how to include the header file in the c program to include a header file in the c program we have to write hash include in rectangular bracket 
whatever file whatever header file you want to include inside okay if you want standard input output libraries then we have to include stdio.h if you want to include conu input output we have to include conu.h after that the first thing in our c program is main function you can say that main function is that if this is the entry point inside a program if we don't have main function in c program then we cannot execute our program by the help of compiler so we must have main function in our c program there are various type of main functions having different kind of return type so basically we use a void main function which doesn't return anything else to the user so we will write void main the main function is entry point after that for taking input we have to write the function which is in stdio.h is known as printf function is used to print the data to the console which is given by user okay after that we have to write or we can we can write get ch function get ch function is basically to hold the output screen on the user's uh, computer okay if we didn't write get ch your program will execute but the prompt the output to view the output screen okay after that if you are talking about the functions of input output first, first function is a uh, uh, printf and second function is scanf scanf is used to scan things given by user in the form of printf if you write printf in curly uh, bracket in quotes hello that means the user want to print hello on your console screen if you user gives any command any variable name then how to scan it to scan it we can use scanf function in a scanf function there is a string by the help of which we can scan the variables like format string and the argument list argument list means by the help of which we can identify what value relate to which uh, variable okay after that input output function input output function you already know and scanf is known as input function and printf is known as output function okay after that we will talk about the data type in c language basically if you talk about data type there are only two types of data type first data type is predefined data type and second data type is user defined data type so in c there are two type of data type predefined data type and user defined data type predefined data types are the basic data types which comes in the form of int for integer char for character float for floating values and double for floating values in large scale okay after that derived data type derived data type that data types which comes in flavor of basic data types means by the help of basic data type we can derived our data type which can uh, ease our work like arrays pointers structures and union and there are other data types like enumeration data type known as enum e n u m and void data type which returns nothing to the user okay after that there are several keywords in c language like those are reverse pro for the user as well as system also the keywords in c language there are 32 keywords in c language like auto break case character constant continue default to double int structure and many more uh, you can read it from your online resource okay what are the operation we can do inside a c language there are following 
types of operation we can perform by we could do mathematical operation we can do relational operation we can do shift operation arithmetic what is arithmetic operation if we have to multiply divide subtract or addition then these comes under arithmetic operation relational operation whether we have to perform any situation like if this condition and this condition true then after our code will execute this is known as your relational operator like and or not shift of operator operator means on in uh, c language if we have to shift any particular digit to some places like in our number is in binary function we want to uh place our lsb to two place for that operation we use and logical operators to operators in many more operations can be done with the help of the program language okay after that to control the c programming language environment or to the variable bs we have to use certain type of controls in c language like we can use if else switch do while loop for loop break and we will discuss it what we are talking about the statement the statement if you are hesitant ki if you have 1 rupees then after you can continue to the statement that otherwise it will not get executed and the program will uh, comes out after that second statement is if else statement what is if else statement after continuing to if if the condition doesn't satisfy means the condition inside if statement gets false or get wrong then what happen for that purpose we use else statement else statement means when if a statement doesn't get executed we have to execute else statement for that purpose we will write else in bracket the code which we want to execute after that if we repeatedly do this if else if else if else this is known as if else ladder if else ladder in some uh, some cases if we want to execute multiple instructions in sequential fashion so that our output is dependent on our structure which we are building up for that purpose we will use else if else or else if ladder okay after that if you are talking about switch statement what are the switch statement if we have to display any kind of menu in which user is uh, able to select desired option for that purpose we use switch statement in uh, switch statement in c language okay for that what is the syntax of switch language we have to write switch in bracket expression what is the expression which we want to execute for that we have to write the case there are a certain case depending upon your situation so what kind of uh, functionality you want what kind of menu list you have for that if we are writing case 1 so inside the case 1 we have to write the code which is getting executed after the case 1 will get executed like that case 2 case 3 and case n whatever number you want to get executed after that there is a compulsory statement in every switch statement is default means if case 1 2 3 till n will not get satisfied what else we have to do we have to run a default case inside the default case, what are the code will get run we have to display to user that your n number of 
situation your n number of cases didn't get satisfied so after all we are displaying this default expression to your screen so that user can understand what is going on or what is happening after that if you are talking about loop loop means we if we have to execute certain uh, certain code in number of times for that purpose we use loops in the c programming language there are three types of loops in c programming language first is do while loop second one is while loop and the third one is for loop for continuing from the first do while loop do while loop is it is better if you have to execute the code at least once means while you are using do while loop the code what you write inside do section will execute at least once at least once if the condition inside uh, while statement if the condition inside while statement get satisfied then the number of things will get executed otherwise only once the code inside do statement will get executed after that while loop while loop if condition doesn't satisfy the code will never get executed if the condition satisfied then the desired number of loops then the desired number of uh, repetition of that particular code will happen okay after that for loop for a loop is the basic or simplest loop in c language for that purpose in for loop we have three kind of situations or three kind of uh, argument in for loop first one is initialization means on a variable which you are acting upon from uh, what is the initial value of that particular variable then the condition what kind of condition should it satisfy to get executed after that on that particular variable what kind of operation you want to perform whether it is increasing order or whether it is decreasing order so you have to first decide what kind of operation you want to execute it is increasing or decreasing in these three condition none is compulsory you have to remember that this in this three condition none is compulsory if you are don't write initial condition after two condition you will write the code will execute smoothly if you write any two the code will execute smoothly if you write nothing inside your for statement the code is also get executed smoothly so never told anybody that uh, we didn't write any condition inside c programming language so our code will not run it is not true okay after that if you are talk talking about break statement break statement is like just we have breaks inside our vehicle that in programming language we have break statement and jump statement break statement is stopping our code execution execution at the particular place where we, we will break uh, we will place break statement and jump statement is that if you are on second line and you want to go 21st line you will use jump statement from second line you will directly jump to the 21st line uh, by leaving the lines in between okay after that the continuous statement if we want to jump somewhere else and we want again continuation of your code from where you have jumped for that purpose we use syntax continue and semicolon now we will talk about the function function is very important thing in every language by the use of function we can use the, our code number of times and we optimize our code okay for the use of function if you are talking about function so function will provide us the code reusability function and modularity function okay after that so what is the 
type how we can write functions first we have to write first we have to write the name of function and then data type okay after that call by value and call by reference call by value means if you are uh, using functions by call by value you can change the function parameter it is change the current functionality only and in call by value reference call by reference means we are calling the thing at particular address space okay after that uh, if you are talking about recursion recursion means calling itself like a function that called itself and don't perform any task after the function call it known as tail recursion the function means if you are calling main inside main that is known as recursion okay after that uh, if you are talking about pointers what is pointers pointer is a user defined type it create a special type of variable what is pointer pointer holds the variable of any object you want okay after that it is uh, retrieving a string like tree etc and use with array structure and function what are the advantages of pointers in function the pointers reduce the code and improve the performance first thing after that we can return multiple values from function using pointers and the third advantage is it, it makes you able to access any memory location in computer's memory okay after that symbols used in pointer first symbol is used ampersand that is address of operator it determines the address and of a variable and second one is asterisk which you always know on a multiply sign it indicates the indirection of operator like if you want to access the address then we use indirection operator okay okay after that any questions if you have any kind of question you can write in comment box i will answer you surely one thing i want to tell you that c language as you know is a mother of programming language if you face any kind of interview and you have written inside your resume that i know c language and you must have command on c language because in many mnc's the c language is very much valuable like intel if you are if you know about intel uh in this time in this time of era these intel companies is producing microprocessor chips in which they are working on embedded c languages for easily get operated inside okay so if you have any question please ask otherwise i have to wind up